Hey, how you doing, gang? Dr. O here. I'm um, going to go ahead and start off with the uh, first kind of lecture that I would normally give um, to the, um, if I was face-to-face. -face. So we'll give this a try. I think I figured out the technology part of this. So let's go ahead and go for it. So I'm just going to go through a couple of slides and then, you know, talk along with and then have you kind of write something on the bottom and tell me what you think. So, all right. So we think about what the question of what psychology is. And typically people will answer the question, that's what I asked you when we first started off with, what do you think psychology is? And a study of, you know, humans, their behavior, um, and things like that. What we have as a definition that I like talking about is really it's the psyche being the mind, ology being the study of. So it's, according to the textbook, it would be the scientific study of behavior and the mental processes. So if you take a look at psychology versus sociology, um, you know, and biology, <clears throat> they're all studies of something. So biology would be the study of life, bio, bi the, bio um, the body and so forth, and living things. Sociology, on the ha other hand, which is the closest to psychology. And so sociology is basically the study of groups and how groups affect individuals. Psychology, on the other hand, is looking at the individual. So you're looking at the person first, and then you have how they think and they react. You have something that's in the middle, which is uh, social psychology. Social psychology mixes in both, both the sociology and the individual psychology to see how individuals affect uh, <clears throat> the society or social groups or social group affects the individual. So this is important to think about, especially with what's going on today in the world. Um, and I'm gonna talk, hopefully, a little bit more about that too as we go through the semester because it's a crazy world out there right now. You, you can't deny it, especially with COVID and the year 2000 and all this stuff's going on. There's a whole mess of things happening that hopefully I can tie in you know, so, so you can start stepping back from what you're looking at and start seeing it objectively as opposed to emotionally. And uh, that's what psychology tries to do as a science is really kind of looking at it as, okay, what are the things that are measurable? And I'll talk about uh, research in the next video. Uh, but for now, <clears throat> we'll just go through what uh, the study of the mind um, and behavior. So scientific study of humans and animal behavior is another definition that is in the in the textbook and one of the textbooks. And you wonder why we study animals? Well animals behave a lot like we do. So we watch them for their behavior. Now remember psychology is looking at behavior. And I'm going to talk about the next slide is two types of behavior. And animals will do the same thing. You see uh, different animals with their growling. You know, we do the same kind of facial expressions. Uh, monkeys or chimpanzees are ones that we look at a lot. You see psychology studying rats, mice, things like this, because trying to control behavior and trying to figure out why they do what they do, okay? <clears throat> so the two types of behaviors that we really take a look at and I want you to be aware of is overt and covert. Now, the covert behavior, or the overt, start with that one first, starts with the letter O. So I like to say it's like the any behavior that's out in the open. So any behavior that you can actually see. So if you see me walking, walking is an overt behavior. Okay, If you actually see me hitting somebody, then that would be an overt behavior. Okay, That you can kind of assume or think that there's some anger attached to it. So whatever is happening on the outside that you see somebody behaving or reacting to overtly tells you a little bit of something of what's going on inside of them. Covert, on the other hand, is the other way around. Covert is starts with the letter C. And the way I look at it is it's a covered type of behavior. The main covered type of behavior would be thinking. Yes, thinking is a behavior. And thinking, you learn to think certain ways. Okay, when we go into biology, yeah, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the neurons and the firing and so forth. 
But ultimately, when we're looking at covert behavior and, and the, the thought process and how you think of things, those are learned behaviors, which means that they can be unlearned. Okay. So when you're looking actually, let's say for racism, I mean, that's a big topic right now <clears throat> in the world that's popped up in the last year or two. So people think, oh, racism. Well, that's you know, part of your genetic makeup if you want to go with um, critical race theory. No, it's not. <clears throat> it actually isn't. It's a learned behavior. You learn to judge things. You learn to uh, discriminate. You learn to be racist. That's why there are a lot of people who were racist in the beginning and then later on realize, oh, this isn't a good way of thinking here. This is not right. So, <clears throat> you know, any kind of behavior, any kind of thought process, if you're looking at somebody and thinking about them in a certain way, that's a learned behavior. You're learned. You've learned how to think that way about this group. Now, we're going to talk about perception later on in another chapter. And I'm going to tell you how, you know, you can put on glasses that are abused glasses or glasses of seeing things rosy. We'll talk about that a little bit, too, um, <clears throat> in the later videos. So really want to take when you're thinking about anything in psychology anything in behavior you're thinking about how they're overtly or covertly behaving and each of those are learned you can learn how to you know to write to walk you know you learn those things how to respond those are uh, covert and overt behavior so keep that in mind as we go through and um, you know think of some other ways of looking at behavior <clears throat> Excuse me. So I like this slide because it's really, you know, makes a, a point of what the semester is going to be like, or we're going to kind of go over, going over. And when you're looking at behavior itself, there's so many different theories that I'm going to be talking about, or that the book talks about. One biological theory, which is your, you know, uh, physiological, your genes, your uh, genetic makeup, your biochemicals in your brain. All of those are considered biological approach. Cognitive approach is basically how you think of things. Piaget is in, in that area. Um, humanistic, you have um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which is the, the triangle we're going to talk about. And so trying to figure out why people behave the way they behave, well, they try to explain it through humanistic points of view. Behavioral, on the other hand, takes a look at how you can modify someone's behavior. You got Skinner in there with his pigeons. And so he, you have those are ways of, of controlling and training people. They talk about if you want to become uh, working with dolphins or training any dogs or anything, what are you using? You're not looking into marine biology. No, you're looking at psychology because you're looking at using behavioral techniques. And we'll see a little bit about that when you read through the book. Psychodynamic is Freudian, more Sigmund Freud. We'll talk a little bit about Sigmund Freud in the history part. And, uh, <clears throat> and also we have Eric Erickson, who's a student of Freud, which I did most of my study in that area when I was getting my master's degree. So you have these basically five different approaches uh, to understanding behavior and trying to explain it. And that's the whole goal of psychology. What is the behavior that people do, why they do what they do, and trying to explain it. Okay, so here's an example that I want to show you with um, the branch of psychology called biological. And this one, main focus is the body, the brain, uh, that help cre you know, create emotions and memories, trying to figure those things out. In this area, you'll have Alzheimer's, you'll have um, <clears throat> uh, different head brain trauma things like this and why that affects the way it affects personality and so forth but some of the questions that are asked uh, main questions is how do how do evolution and heredity influence behavior again going back to that whole thing about crt saying that you know if you're white then you're racist because it's part of your biology it makes no sense because it by you know biologically there's there's no gene that says that thinking and racism is a learned behavior so but if we take a look at things that are hereditary now you do have schizophrenia that they found has some connection to um, to genetics that can be passed down 
You also have possible Alzheimer's. You have uh, bipolar disorder. That is, and that's a biological um, imbalance, chemical imbalance that can be passed down through uh, your genes and through your your um, biological makeup. Okay, so those are the things I want you to think about as you're reading the chapters too, as well. Uh, <clears throat> Blood chemistries linked to moods and motives are other things that the biolog biologist or the biopsychologist would take a look at. Now, there are some people who will stick to one area and believe that that is the main thing. I had a friend of mine who's a, um, in the doctoral program with me, and she believed that a lot of the behavior could be explained through biology. Okay, so if we could figure out the biology, if we can give them a medication that would affect the hallucinations or that can affect their their behavior then that's how she would look at it for me i was taught more uh, when i was at ucla as looking at more biopsychosocial which is looking at the biology looking at the psychology tied into it and then the social interaction so it kind of takes the whole person into account so i like that approach a lot better and that's pretty much the way that i see when I deal with people and trying to understand behavior. So something to think about from that point. Okay, you also have two other areas uh, that I just wanted to mention. One is uh, educational psychology that you can go into if you get a psychology degree. Now, most likely psychology bachelor's degree, you're not going to do a lot with it. Maybe a psych tech, that's about it. You'd have to get at least um, you know a master's degree, be it social work, because I was trained as a social psychologist, or not social psychologist, but social worker, clinical social worker. So mine was micro. And I'll give you a little bit of background um, when I get to the, my introduction overall. Okay? A little bit more about myself. <clears throat> School psychology um, is another way that you can take a look at it, uh, that they can use it to do a lot of tests to see whether the kids have ADD and things of that nature. Okay? So those are some areas to take a look at. And to give you an idea, you have a lot of clinical people who go into psychology who want to be clinical providers, have their own private practice. For me, I'm a life coach, um, and I've you know been trained as a psychotherapist. I know how to diagnose. I've been trained on, out of the DSM. At that time, it was DSM-3. Now it's the DSM-5R, I believe, or TR. Um, a lot of them go into industrial, developmental, and so forth. So basically, what I want you to get out of today's um, little lecture is that psychology is the study of human behavior okay basically how we think how we feel how we react and so forth there's different perspectives to take a look at it and how to explain it biological you got psychodynamic you got cognitive you got behavioral and humanistic those are the basic ways that we take a look at how people behave and react and how psychology tries to explain human behavior Okay, so hopefully this helps you out as a beginning to see, um, you know, this first week or second week, actually. And, um, and I'll try to get you some more of these videos. So let me know what you think. Uh, comment on the bottom or just uh, I'll put it as a discussion board um, with uh, this video. And then you just let me know what your thoughts are or, or any questions. Okay. Alrighty. So you guys have a good evening and we will talk to you later. Ciao.